Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here. Today in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a stick from Blade Tech. Now, if you've been watching our channel for a while, we've worked with them for a number of years. Now, this isn't a sponsored video. Of course, I have to mention that, but they sent us out a bunch of sticks that they now manufacture. And this is based out of the need to create sticks that aren't breaking the bank. Because a lot of the times when you look at top of the line sticks from all of the major manufacturers, they're getting lighter and lighter. It's not needed. There's so much breakage in the industry right now. And it's because of that weight. Because typically what happens is they don't mess with the blades, top of the line manufacturers that we all know of. They mess with the shafts. They take material away from the shafts, which reduces the weight of the stick, but it also compromises its durability. I did a post on Instagram, link down below if you're not following, make sure you jump on that account where we're discussing breakages in sticks, why this is happening, what manufacturers are notorious for this, and Blatech are essentially doing their part to combat that by creating a stick that is essentially made in the same place that all of the top manufacturer sticks are manufactured in, but it's at a fraction of the price. Now, a lot of skepticism behind that. What's the performance like? What's the balance like? What's the release like? That's what we're gonna be finding out in a series of videos where we VS the stick against some of the other top spec sticks that are out there. But of course, this is more of a first impression. Tommy likes to use stuff that's branded and looks pretty. So let's see what he thinks of this, just as a first impression. And of course, a full review and VS video is coming very soon, but let's jump into this. Now, of course, if you're wondering about the fancy technologies inside the stick, it's a fully composite stick, just like what you would get from some of the flagship manufacturers. It's a low kick point stick. We've got this in a 77 flex P28 curve, and we're gonna be seeing what Tommy thinks of it on the ice. Let's go. Okay, I can do that. Oh. Got a good ping to it. Hey. Oh. That felt nice. my PP goal from the weekend. I was right here. Boom. Boom. Oh. Cool. Oh. Okay, so a little bit of a different one here today. We're looking, oh sorry, we're looking. Chris surprised me with these Blade Tech hockey sticks. I believe they're $149, something like that. Chris could put a subtitle and correct me if I'm wrong. Um, what do Blade Tech make, first of all? It's in, it's it's in, in the name, it's in the name. They make blades, and very good blades, but for some reason, they decided to throw a stick in the mix. Yeah. Chris surprised me with it. I had no clue this was happening today. Now, before you drop into the video, tell me what you thought about it when you picked it up, and don't lie. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. We've looked at black type sticks before, and I wasn't impressed. They were heavy, they were clunky, they were hard to shoot with. So I wasn't really looking forward to it when Chris went here. We're doing a video on these today. Oh! This feels really nice. This feels really nice. Like, really nice. Crossbar. Crossbar with a tire. Oh, wow. It does, it feels really nice. I talked a lot of crap about it. I didn't talk, uh, no. Uh, the term fishing rod came out. That wasn't from me. Okay, fair enough. That wasn't from me. Keep going. And then when I picked it up in the changing room, I started, you know, getting a feel for it, started flexing it, started taping it. It was like, oh, you know what? They're not heavy. It's got a good flex. We'll give it a fighting chance. This one's bar down. Off the sows. It's a great finish though. Feels great, huh? Yeah, if you want. Feels really good, feeling nice. Up.
Oh. It's got a great feel to it. Dang it. <laughs> One, two. This feels, I do, I do, it's very nice. Yeah? I do, it feels great. Was not expecting it, but it's very nice. I told you. I told you. Crossbar. Skimmed it. We just need a left post and we fit three bars. All right, I'll try it. That was crossbar. What happened when you stepped onto the ice with it? Bro, it pings. And I mean, it flies off your stick. I don't know whether it's the flex, the fill. I don't know what it is. Blade Tech, please message me, let me know. But wow. I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, he's just talking. And this isn't sponsored. No. Get yourself one. They're $149. Try it and then comment. Because I was the same. I was like, oh, really? Do I really have to use those today? And Chris was like, yes, you've got to use it. Give it a go. But wow, man. Wow. Put it this way. I'm going to be taking one of these and I'm going to be using it and giving it a fair shot because I think it deserves one. And we're going to leave it there and save it for another video. But keep your eyes out. Keep your eyes out because wow. Gassed. Gassed. Now, of course, as I said at the start of the video, a full review is coming of the stick and also VSing it against sticks that cost more than double the price, sometimes even close to three times the price of the stick over here. We're going to see if Blade Tech can really manufacture something that gives players everything that they need without breaking the bank. That's a big thing right now, but I'm really excited to have more videos coming out on this. Comment down below what you want us to VS it against, of course, this being a low kick point stick. But stay tuned, make sure you keep watching the channel and we'll catch you in the next one.